Today is February 12th, 2018, and I am recording because I had a very interesting, what, 12 hours, or basically 24 hours, to be honest. Um, So back it up to yesterday, February the 11th, Um, around this time, I was like in and out of fear mode. I was running errands and just like kind of dwelling on money and what I'm doing and, um, you know, just going through the, the whole list of anxieties. And usually I'm pretty good about not like dwelling on that. But yesterday was just like not a good day. And I mean, there wasn't really anything in particular that happened. It was just like I woke up being like, life, what is this, you know? And so <clears throat> when I got home, as soon as I got home from running errands, I was like, I'm going to pull a card because I just really um, want to get some like positive, um, a positive affirmation or a positive message or something. Like I need to know what's going on. I need some clarity because I'm like freaking out and I feel like there is a message for me. So I went to the Mother Mary Oracle, which is if you listen to the previous um, entry, I talked about how um, I came across that deck. I just got it last week. And I pulled Our Lady of the Abundant Garden. And that was literally the answers to, I mean, it hit everything spot on. It, like, definitely obviously made me feel better. And then it was just like, wow, like, this connection with these cards and with Mother Mary is really, um, just really strong. Because everything that I was, like, going through in my mind was addressed in that, um, through that card, just like in the interpretation in the book. And it was like, you know, you are, you know, acting out of fear and don't focus on lack, focus on abundance. And like, you are at a time where this is coming to you. Like you have to be patient and just trust. It's always trust, patience, you know, love. So that made me feel really good. Um, I posted something about it on Instagram. I posted the card and just basically how, you know, my connection is so strong And I received a message from a gal who was really happy to come across my post. And she was like, this is really awesome, especially because today is the day of um, the apparition of Mother Mary in Lourdes, France. Um, And today, like, it's the feast day. And so I Googled that. I I had no idea. I Googled it. And, um, yeah, come to find out, February 11th, um, a girl was like just like a peasant girl was like picking like firewood and stuff kind of in the middle of the woods and she like went through this like little it wasn't a cave but it was like kind of like a little alcove or something like that and you know mother mary appeared to her and gave her a message um and it was they tried to discredit it but it ended up being like legit but anyways so I didn't know that. So I replied back to the girl and I was like oh synchronicity I was like I had no idea and she was like yeah she was like you are so very lucky and you know mother mary is you are really truly connected with her mother mary is you know watching over you and i feel blessed to have come across your page like all this stuff and i was just like wow you know um so then after that i so all day i had been like kind of in and out of like daydreaming state and i just like like i would catch myself where i'm just like oh wow like all right back to earth And so with that, I was just like, I feel that I need to channel Mother Mary or, you know, just do some deep meditation because between that, the trance, the the moment trance, um, I also wasn't eating very much. And I've noticed that that's kind of like a pattern where I just don't want to eat, even if I'm hungry. Like I could like the last time I ate, I think it's been it was at maybe like seven it was just like a salad so I haven't eaten that and now it's like almost noon the next day so yeah and I was like so I noticed that because I, I was planning to eat a big dinner and then I was just like no I don't really want that I just want a salad and then you know I had had a drink you know a glass of wine at around like six or seven and after that I was like you know I don't really want even any more alcohol because I felt like I needed to get a message of something or something was going on. So this is when it really gets interesting. I go to bed about like 11, like 10, 30, 11. So, which is pretty, I mean, that's normal for me. Um, and so I, I'm asleep and then I'm woken up 
at like 1 15 1 30 something like that and it's just like okay and normally I'll wake up in the middle of the night um I had an interesting dream that I can't really remember but I remember waking up and being like look at your phone like this is what because I oh I remember in the dream I was like communicating with probably mother Mary or you know and I was just like you know what am I supposed to be doing like should I be like recording should I record the channel tomorrow should I you know and I woke up from the dream and it's like look at your phone this is what you should be doing and I looked at my phone and I looked through my emails and stuff and I had an email that really meant a lot to me especially with what I was going through yesterday. So, like, that made me feel really good. It didn't really give me any clarity on, like, oh, should I record channeling or, you know. So, um, with that in mind, uh, I was just laying there. I couldn't fall back asleep. And I was on my phone, off my phone, just laying there, on my phone, off my phone, just laying there, um, like, pretty much wide awake. And I got, like, I kept getting the feeling that I was supposed to go to the living room and, you know, sit there and meditate. But I I didn't because I was just, like, restless, tired. And I was just, like, kind of, like, I don't know. Like, I like I kind of was having a little bit of anxiety about it because I was just, like, I'm tired. And, like, I felt, like, very strong energy around me. So, you know, sometimes it can be a little unsettling, you know, especially if you're woken up. Like, I knew when I was woken up that... It was definitely Mother Mary or, like, Archangel Mike or someone trying to communicate with me. So I was a little hesitant because I was just really tired. I was like, I just want to go back to sleep. So eventually I did go back to sleep, and but it wasn't really like a – like, I fell asleep but didn't even realize that I had fell asleep, you know, and that happens usually. But so I was, like, laying on my stomach, and I remember – this like heavy feeling over me, like someone was literally laying on top of me and it felt like some, something or someone was trying to like merge with my body. It was really unsettling. And I wasn't really like, I was like, at first I tried to fight it. And here's the thing. Like when I first began channeling, um, I was doing my Buddhist practice and I knew that, um, Archangel Michael was, was in the room with me. And, um, during my channeling, I was like, okay, like, you know, I'm ready for this. I want you to basically come through me and I'll like channel you and like give the message. So be careful what you ask for because I did that and he started to come through. I'm like sitting there doing my chants and whatnot, chanting. And first I felt my feet get hot. And like, I I think I previously recorded this so you can go back and like look through the entries. I think it's like the first channeling of Archangel Michael. And it was, like, really, like, I got so hot and sweaty. I had to, like, take my clothes off or, like, my shirt off and stuff. And it got to the point where I couldn't finish chanting. And I was just, like, you have to, like, you know, I know I said that, but can you actually, like, just back off a little bit because I am feeling. And it it wasn't in, like, a a rude way. I was just, like, I'm feeling super overwhelmed. And, like, it, it was a lot. And. Then I, you know, later I learned, which made complete, complete sense, is that obviously these, these beings are, especially the angels, they're very, um, they're very, like, their energy, they're very powerful. So, and they have a super high frequency compared to, you know, our frequency. So if you're not, one, grounded enough, and if you're not, like, as far as, like, your frequency is, isn't high enough to, you know, to a certain extent, like, you know, say if you're not, like, happy or, like, if you're feeling, like, I wasn't even feeling depressed. I was just, like, it kind of was, like, a lot at once. So, um, then I actually, you know, I felt that that was where the anxiety came from. Like, it wasn't, like, a bad thing that was happening. It was just, like, I wasn't completely ready and it felt uncomfortable and it was unknown, like it was an unknown feeling. So I was just like, you know, freaked out and that's why I kind of like couldn't breathe and stuff like that. So anyway, so that's kind of what happened last night where it was like, I literally felt something on top of me and I was trying to like move up and I couldn't and I felt like it was merging with my body. And so I, um, I just sat there and I like breathe and I remember in the dream or if it was a dream or whatever it was, there was like almost as if I had the blanket over me, but I know like I felt like it was Mother Mary, you know, merging with me. So 
I felt like there was, you know, if someone wears like, you know, the robe and she has it on, you know, have you seen the images of her with that over her head? That's what it felt like because I made a point when I actually like came out of that, I made a point to, um, to look and be like, oh, was the covers over my head? Because sometimes I'll sleep with the covers over my head and the covers were not over my head. So I was like, hmm, interesting. And I also remember that she also... If she, if that was her, which I'm pretty, assume, I'm pretty sure that was her trying to merge with me or like, you know, that whole like trance channeling, like I could hear her voice, like a woman's voice coming through me that wasn't me. It was, it was really interesting. So then I woke up and I kind of freaked out and like, didn't really, you know, want to go back to bed, but I ended up laying there for a second. And then what else I remember, I went to bed and So I had this technique where, you know, if I'm going to the, if I want to channel an angel and I'm going to the angelic realm, I actually like, I start by envisioning a door, you know, I get into my, like my sacred headspace and, you know, meditate for a little bit, listen to some like source tones. And then I, you know, come across this door, which is, you know, you can either whatever comes to you, but either it's like a door gateway or portal or something. Mine is like a big old door. That's like, like crimson red and really big and the handle is like one of those circular handles that you grab and I know that I have to knock three times and then the door opens so I was kind of doing that in my dream like not even intentionally I think I was just thinking about it and so when I did that there was a um like what appeared to be an angel but it was just standing there with its wings like open and it was just like like super pearly white wings are open and um I'm sitting there and I remember hearing about this before because someone in in one of my classes for my my channel mediumship he had a similar experience where he went to the angelic realm and he was going to talk to Archangel Michael but one of these things showed up and it's called a carry-on angel and so I'm I'm not well I'm pretty sure that that's what that was because I like asked Mother Mary about it this morning but um so um yeah it had its wings wide open and then it would kind of contract and it looks almost like a gargoyle and I knew what it was so I wasn't like freaked out about it or I thought I knew what it was and it was interesting and I kept saying you know um then I asked I used the universal um universal law of three I believe it is where I asked in the same way three times like you know identify yourself or who are you um and then it said mother mary the queen of archangels and again i asked again and the third time it was always like the third time was like really um it wasn't the same answer and that's the thing it has to be three times the same way same answer on each end and then if there is some small variation of it then you know then it's not who they say they are so that was kind of weird for me. And so I kind of freaked out a little bit and this is all, mind you, this is all going on while I'm like sleeping half sleep, like, you know, so, um, I go back to sleep or, Oh, then I also, you know, use the the law of the universal law of three. And I like, you know, tell it to leave. I'm like, if you're not at service of me here, then you need to leave my sacred space. Right. So I said that three times. Um, I went back to bed and I woke up or I didn't wake up, but I went back to bed and I started having a dream that, um, it it was so bizarre. It was just like a lot of things were going on. I remember Matt and I were like having sex at one point and then like he was with me and then like stuff was going on. Then we were walking in a hallway. I was following a dog. It was just all these kind of crazy things and it was bits and pieces, but I just got the impression that this was like, as being shown some type of like past life or something like that. Not quite sure. Um, that's what I've been told. And so, um, also I meant to mention at that time where my, I was like feeling like something was on my back, something was trying to merge with me. Also right before that happened, I was like at a door, which looked like one of those storm doors. Like if you have your main door of a house and then you have that door that's like not a screen door, but it's, you know, it's like a storm door, I guess I think it's called. Anyways, it was that the front, the door was open and the the other door, the storm door was closed and it was locked and I was trying to get in. And I had the impression that my teacher, Pamela Erlin was 
like behind that door like it was her house and I was trying to get in that space but I couldn't and then I woke up and then that's when I like felt like something was on my back merging with me um but yeah so had all these incredible crazy dreams and I was actually scared like when I got up and I knew that there was that resistance was what was making it like scary and also I know that I'm at the point where you know First of all, I know that Mother Mary's with me. I know that Archangel Michael is with me. Um, So I know that I'm protected and nothing bad is going to happen. And also this is, you know, we create our own reality. We're the ones that created the negative energy, negative spirits. Um, And if that was the case, if that's what that was, then I am experiencing this for a reason. So I've come to terms with that, but I don't think it was the only reason why I think I was a little like scared was because like, like I said before, when I like, when I first had that interaction with Archangel Michael, it was like, whoa, like that's a lot of energy. And it's like, you know, just the frequencies are off. So it's kind of making my body like freak out. And I would remember I would wake up and like, I would feel like I could tell when, you know, something was around, like if Mother Mary was like around me, because I would feel like literally my hair standing up like I would get like not chills but just like or I guess goosebumps and like I would feel my body would start feeling like like vibrating um so then I was like oh I don't know if I can like channel tomorrow because like I'm a little freaked out and when I actually woke up I felt fine like when I woke up this morning I felt fine um I did channel I did some meditation and channel Mother Mary or Archaea Mary is what I call her. And what she shared with me was just that, you know, I was being tuned up. Like I was going through tuning, spiritual tuning last night. And actually one at one point, like throughout the night, I was hearing like ringing in my ear. I was hearing like frequency tones changing. It was crazy. Um And so, yeah, that's what I was told. I was going through spiritual tuning and, um, what else happened? Oh yeah. And she just, you know, mentioned that, you know, trust and love and I am being put in a position where I have to lead, um, people like I will be leading people through example or like people will look at my experience and, have the strength to, you know, do similar things, you know, whether it doesn't have to be like a channel or medium, but they say if they've always wanted to be a veterinarian or something like that, or work with animals in some way, like that will, this, you know, experience that I'm going through will help them to step out of their own fear and do the things that they've always felt that they should be doing. So, um, And that was pretty much what I got. And so I just wanted to document that here because it was so interesting um, that I wanted to share that with you all. But we'll see what happens. I mean, it's literally been a week since I've had that dream about Mother Mary. And, you know, wow, it is crazy, crazy stuff happening. So I will continue to put some um, entries in this. And, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you next time.